Today, we're going to talk about the power of client data, right? And Tina is, uh, to my mind, the thought leader. I respect her immensely, the thought leader in mastermind peer groups, an innovator, incredibly intelligent um, and, uh, and talented uh, moderator. So in fact, Tina is going to be leading at one of the master classes in May down in Charleston um, during our summit. So check that out. It's on the uh, core value calendar as well. Uh, she's going to be she's going to be talking about moderating for in your client engagements, and there's no one better to train for to provide training on that. Uh, I assure you. So we're going to look at LX Council data, courtesy of Core Value Advisor software, and we want to turn that into we'll help you turn that into several different arrows in your quiver. One of which is marketing words, right? So the data is in. CEOs and their stakeholders get a huge ROI from participating in their LX Mastermind peer group. And we'll show you why we can say that in a sec. What else can we say? LX powered companies, think about your firm. Wherever it says LX, think about your firm's name. Companies that work with your firm are more valuable, easier to run, and have fewer red flag threats than their peers. Now, this is true of the LX Council community. They are also better positioned for M&A and statistically more likely to outperform the competition. Imagine weaving that into the story that you are telling the market and individual prospects, attracting new clients and retaining clients. So the data we're gonna talk about today comes out of Core Value Advisor software. We're talking about the Discover, which is the, an initial analysis, takes about 10 minutes, generates a powerful report and feeds the analytics engine that each of you have as core value uh, as core value customers. And if you don't see the analytics button in your uh, in your dashboard, shoot shoot us a note and we'll make sure that uh, that gets put in place for you. So let's look at some baseline data. And this is just a screenshot to show you what it looks like inside the analytics engine. And what we've done here is we we we've uh, We've seen, we can see that in Tina's universe, right? The core value rating uh, in LX Council, 62% uh, confidence in the company's ability to generate revenue and profit going into the future. Mean revenue, $13 million. That's fairly reflective of middle market companies, right? The, the median of the middle market companies, an enterprise value of 7 million and a mean value gap of $2.5 million. Okay, now let's start putting that into some context. You know, the core value rating is where we'll start. And the core value rating measures a business's ability to predictably generate revenue and profit going into the future. So what is the impact of being a member of LX Council or working with your firm on, uh, on that business's ability? So in the universe, if we look at, if we look at this, with this uh, uh, bell curve, here we have LX Council members uh, in red, and we have the universe out there, uh, almost 50,000 people. I have to go and pull the actual number um, who have been analyzed using core value by your colleagues. So 76% scratch is, is 56. That's what the typical company comes into the system at. All right. So 56. So we'll that, call that scratch golf. 76% of the world out there that has if, generates 50% or higher confidence in Tina's world, it's 90%. And here's the killer point. Up here, those top performers, you, you all know how rare it is for a business to earn a top multiple, okay? We hear about the hero stories, but generally speaking, businesses, if they're able to transfer at all, fall into a normalized trading range, let's say for manufacturing, two to six times earnings. Participants in Tina's groups, people who do business with your firm, this could be you, right? are twice as likely to command a top multiple compared to the market, twice as likely to command a top multiple as compared to the market. That is very, that's a powerful message, right? And, uh, and so these are the kinds of things we wanna be able to say. So when we look at the data, and I sent this report to Tina a few weeks ago and, and she agreed to, uh, to let me interview her about it. We do this uh, routinely uh, for uh, customers what can, we, what can we pull out of the data? The average company is better run. It has a higher core value rating. It generates higher market confidence 
right? That is the confidence of potential buyers in a business's ability to deliver, you know, to del lower risk in the face of M and A. And importantly, the typical business in the LX Council world outperforms market equity value by eighteen percent. Imagine saying that to the world, right? The average person who works with us outperforms on equity value by 18%. And when I, if we put that into marketing words, we say we can say something like CEOs who participate in LX councils generate revenue that is above the middle market average, right? This is above the middle market average, have businesses that have become easier to run and are able to convert more of their business's value into cash when they retire. So if you think about exit planning, strategic planning, growth engagements, you know, this, this, this messaging can be laced throughout. So one of the things, one of the struggles we have when we work with individual clients or cohorts of clients is how do we, how do we target uh, resources to them? Now, and Tina's going to talk about, I'm going to ask her a question about this in a sec, but imagine if you had data like this on your on your clients and on your actual clients, CPAs in this, in, in this group, guys, think about using Discover with every single one of your clients during tax season. Hey, by the way, um, if you have 10 minutes, I really want you to complete this, uh, this analysis, right? That's, that's as much explanation as you need. I need you to do it. Just, you, you will get, the people will do it, okay? Now we know that in our client base, the top bottleneck to growth and a transferable value is sales and marketing. The second highest is recurring revenue, growth, operations, and dominant market share. What are we gonna do with this data? Well, on a macro level, this allows you to, um, to bring on speakers, right? That you can put on in webinars. You can use it to craft and design your webinar marketing plan. You can use it for writing eBooks, right? Think about having a really, really pithy articles, blog posts about these topics that you're targeting out in a macro sense, at your uh, universe of, of, of uh, potential clients or at your current clients to elevate your brand with them to say, hey, we, we know this is where you hurt. And on a micro basis, you can go in and look at the individual companies with whom you've done Discover and say, oh, look, you know, this cohort has, has uh, you know, here are the people that, have, that could use some help in sales and marketing process. You don't need to be a sales and marketing guru. But you can go to Harvard Business Review. You can go online. I mean, we have stuff cross our inbox every day, right? LinkedIn and, and send them articles, targeted stuff. Let's start just delivering value. Imagine being able to do this for your group, okay? Um, CEO training. If you're designing workshops, now you know who to invite to the workshop, who to suggest attends the workshop. The other thing that uh, we got out of LX Council, and this is very powerful, LX Council powered businesses have significantly fewer red flag existential threats to growth and transferable equity value. Okay, look at this, far lower than the market. So we're getting some really cool data, some powerful data that can help you help individual clients and that can also help you power your marketing engine. All right, it all starts uh, with generating data on your clients, whether you're using core value or another tool, I would argue, obviously. Uh, the core value is the, is the way to go. But think about using this. The important thing is that you build a thriving consulting business and, uh, and help your clients move forward. And, and those of you who've heard me speak before know uh, how passionate I am on that topic.